What's up, guys, and welcome back to my True Artorias series. I'm Loaf Meat, and I'm bringing you Dark Souls. Now, last time I killed the Trek, um, there's not going to be any item here because I already picked him up. So I'll show you what he dropped. He dropped five humanity, and he dropped a really special ring called the Ring of Favor and Protection. The ring symbolizes the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts the wearer's HP, stamina, and max equip load, but it breaks if unequipped. So, the Ring of Favor and Protection is a very powerful ring, and I do have it equipped. Um, I, a lot of people are kind of weary about about the ring because um, because it breaks whenever you unequip it. It kind of instills a fear of unequipping it. So a lot of people will say like, oh, I don't want to break my ring, so I'm not going to equip anything else, even when it's advantageous to do so. So <clears throat> some people avoid it altogether because they would rather wear like a wood grain ring and a chlorinthry ring together instead of getting the boost from this ring because those rings don't break if you don't equip them. But I don't mind. Uh, if I need to equip other rings, I'm going to do so. Uh, even though I probably won't really need to. Not that I can think of. I know how to get another ring of favor and protection pretty easily later in the game. But I think uh, the ring of favor and protection is going to carry me for a little bit. Uh, this episode, we're going to go down into Lower Undead Burg. And depending on the time... I might uh, get the large ember from the depths after defeating the undead bird boss. I'm going through the upper undead bird here to get there. Um, there's several ways we can go. Actually, I just remembered one way that would be much faster, so I'm going to do that. I had forgotten earlier that we unlocked a shortcut right here, so I'm going to rest at this bonfire. Actually, I have a lot of souls. Let's, uh, let's do something with them. Put that to 25. I do need to start increasing stats. There we go. Yeah, why not? If I'm not mistaken, it, uh, to wield the true great sword of Artorias, I think I need 24 strength and then 20 in the rest of the stats. I I can't like 20 dex and 20. Oop. And, uh, ah, I knew it was coming. I'm gonna try to run. Oh no! Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh no! It got me! I made it, though. That's the part that matters. I'll look up the stat requirements for the True Artorias Great Sword uh, on my own time, and then I'll write it down or something so I don't forget. <laughs> it's a ridiculous requirement. The reason why I want to uh, do that particular build is um, one, I've never used this sword, and it, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, and two, I think that it makes it a lot more fun for you guys to watch me use a whole bunch of different stats. So, I will be using some miracles and I will be using some sorceries you now here and there. Uh, mostly just stuff that will help out, like Cast Light will help me out in Tomb of the Giants. Or uh, Great Heal is a pretty good utility spell. And then whenever I get the Pyromancy Glow... Be using power within. Which, in this particular playthrough, I will probably be going into Blight Town uh, the, the quote unquote correct way. And we get one of our first NPCs that we can rescue. This guy. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. I sure Thank did. You. 
You're welcome. I'm saved. I am Griggs of Vinheim. Hey, Griggs. So I am much obliged for your respect. Okay, cool. So, since I saved him, he's going to go back to Fire Emblem Shrine, and then he's going to start acting as a merchant for spells and stuff. As long as my... I think my intelligence has to be at least 10, which I know it is. So it's not going to be a big deal. I'm going to try luring some of these guys out, because there's a lot of them. Uh, they're guarding, I think, a twin humanity. So it's a pretty good item. There we go. And then... Ooh, 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 ooh. See, that's why you don't want to get caught. Ah, retreat! <laughs> and then sip. Ah, oh, come on, man. There we go. Come on, asshole. Be cool, man. Alright, we got him. Let's go pick up our humanity. We earned it. Ah, yeah. There is a theory that since almost every twin humanity in the game that can be found as loot is on a female corpse, that it's supposed to represent, like, if... You know, since that female might have been pregnant. I don't know if I agree with that or not. Uh, the way that we can tell this is a female corpse is you can kind of see the the waist strap for kind of the makeshift bra. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I agree with that, just because it, it's kind of a stretch, and I think there might be one case where the there's a twin humanity on a male corpse. I think it's just... Coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. Some sometimes there's just things in this game that, if you read too much into it, it doesn't. You come to find out it doesn't really mean anything, even if you wanted to. There we go. Finally got that guy. Nothing in here. Target shield. I don't. I'm not going to be using that shield at all, but it's neat. Breaker. I'm not going to be using that either. Now, these Hollow Undead, or pff, Hollow Undead, these uh, Undead Thieves, I guess they're called, uh, they're the only enemies in this game that drop the set that they wear, the, the Hollow Thief set. So, in a sense, it's kind of one of the rarest. Yeah, you come on. It's one of the rarest sets in the game, because it can only be dropped by them. And there's only a handful of them in these areas. Ooh, spicy. Come on. There we go. Um, the Hollow, the hollow Sea Thief set has pretty good resistances, but I, I don't really like the set for a lot of its breathe for a lot of reasons. It doesn't really protect from a whole lot. Uh, people usually just wear it for the swag value, that because it's rare, you know, look at me, I got rare stuff, kind of vibe. All right, before I challenge the boss fight, I'm gonna come down here and show you guys a couple things. One, there's an undead there, and there's one right here. Yeah, fuck you. Sneaky bastards. Okay, so this door we don't have the key for because the boss drops it, but it leads to the depths, which is the next area I'll be playing. There's an item here I'm gonna pick up. And then up here is a shortcut back to Firelink Shrine. So I'm gonna unlock that shortcut and show you how that works. There's a lone archer here. Kind of funny, I don't know why. And another neat little bit, there's a, an undead merchant right here. Oh, you still have your senses if you can sense that. You sensing what I'm sensing? Okay, so you want my souls, but you don't... I don't think you sell anything that I want. Humanity, that's kind of cool. Uh, 
And if this looks familiar, this is the aqueduct that um, connects Firelink Shrine to Undead Bird. So I'm going to unlock this gate. It can only be unlocked from this side, and then through there you can get to uh, Undead Bird and Firelink Shrine. I have five Estus, which is just enough for me to fight the Capra Demon. So let's go do that. I'm not going to lie. There is there is an actual uh, chance I might die here because the Capper Demon fight is gets pretty annoying because he has two guard dogs with him, <laughs> so I, you have to kill those before you kill him because otherwise they're just gonna corner like all three corner you and wreck your day. So I'll show you the tactic that I use and I'll explain it before I go in there so you can keep track of what I'm doing. So as, as soon as I walk in, I'm going to walk off to my left, because that's where the first dog is going to be. And I'm going to try to kill that before Capra gets the first hit in. But then after Capra swings, I'm going to try dodge rolling, throwing it, and then get to the second dog, which is behind him. So, to the... Oh! The dog wasn't ready, but... Oh! 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 Alright. So we're not in bad shape. Oh, now we are. I'm gonna get my shield out. <sighs> okay, we killed both dogs, but we're not doing too good on HP. Okay, the Capra is kind of confused. Capper hits pretty hard, but we're hitting pretty hard ourselves. So I'm just gonna play it safe. That third swing always catches me off guard. I'm trying to think of a plan of attack here. If he lands on us, that's out of damage, so I'm gonna get the hell out of there. I should have equipped some items so I can fast roll. That's the best way to deal with this guy, I think. Ooh. Ooh. I stunned him. That allows me to get another hit in. Doing pretty good. At least not bad. Whoop. Whoopee. Whoopee. And this should be game. Aha! Did it on the first try, thanks to some... A little bit of luck and a little bit of tactic. I won't lie to you. Alright. Now, I'm not going to be able to make it to the next boss in time, because I need to uh, make uh, this video a little bit shorter than usual. But I will show you at least how to get to the, the bonfire into the depths, the first and most important bonfire. And I'll show you the large ember. And what I'm going to do with that ember, and I'm probably going to do this off camera, is I'm going to go farm some large, or uh, what is it? Yeah, large titanite charms, so that I can upgrade my... Halberd to plus 10. And I'll be using the Halberd for a while so you guys can see what that's all about. I'll also upgrade my Claymore here to plus 10. Or, actually, come to think of it, I might as well just do what I said earlier and make it my Divine Weapon. Which, honestly, might be a waste of time. Only, ooh. Only because the Artorias sword has a divine uh, modifier on it already, so I'll have that. But yeah, whatever. We'll see. Ooh. Nothing's etched in stone. All right. So we can see the butcher. Um, fun fact that 
the the butchers in this game are female. Uh, we know that just from some item descriptions. I don't know what the significance of them being uh, female really entails, but uh, later we'll encounter an invading NPC that is wearing uh, a lot of the same gear that butchers use, and I can, and I'll kind of show you like maybe that's a butcher in training. Butcher's behind me, I need to get out of here. I wasn't expecting that dog to jump out of the way when I did the running attack. Alright, when the butchers do that, it's a good time to get a backstab in. Sip on that. Sunny D. The choice drink for undead. I'm gonna try to clip him through the wall. Ooh, and he got me. Jesus. There's she. Oh, I got the dog. Alright. Alright, I do have humanity equipped. I'm gonna have to pop one of those just to heal up. Alright. Not doing too bad. One thing I'll say that I'm kind of disappointed in is I'm not fast rolling yet, even with the two rings equipped, so we'll have to keep working on that. This chest here contains the large ember, and you will take this back to Andre so you can get plus 10 weapons. Now there are two, kind of two paths you can take. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go over here real quick, because there's an NPC I want to rescue, because it's the Pyromancer NPC. This bitch drops down. And I do want to start working on my pyromancies. Take care of her. She drops the sack. Which <clears throat> is a helmet, but it sucks. And you can trade it for a different item later. Um, whenever you go to save this guy, roll through the barrels, because if you start swinging wildly, you're probably going to aggro him. Thank you. You're welcome. Would have been in the line. Thank you. Alright, yeah, okay. So he's going to go back to Firelink Shrine, and at that point he's going to give us a Pyromancy Glove, and then start teaching us some Pyromancies. Um, from here, I could go this way, and then that will take me to the bonfire, or there's kind of a secret area this way that takes me to a mini-boss, and I can get to the bonfire just as quick, thanks to a shortcut. Uh, okay. These dogs love jumping around, and it drives me nuts. Let's see. Ah, oh, my goodness. Oh, thank god he jumped right into it. Alright, the second one. I'm going to back away from this one and try to lure it up the steps. Actually, back against the wall. Go. At least I got one good hit in. Alright, so now that I'm on land, it's going to help me out a little bit more. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Got him. There's a neat little trick over here. Break through these barrels and drop down. There's an item. This is this guy counts as sort of a mini boss, but he's super easy. Just a giant rat. There's an item over there. I'm gonna go pick that up. It's the spider shield, which is actually a pretty decent shield. It has, I believe, it blocks 100% of damage, but more importantly, it blocks all forms of poison 100%. So it's gonna be really good to go against those blow dark guys down in what town? Get the trap on. It's an easy PC. And you can see the axe in his eye. That's pretty funny. Guaranteed drop humanity. And there's an item over here. Super chamber key. 
Hit him over here. There's a rat there. I'm not going to worry about those. Uh, that <clears throat> that path will take you the long way around everything. I'm more concerned about the short way. A lot of people don't even know this is a shortcut here, but it is. Make sure you keep all the way to the left here, because you don't want to fall in that hole. And now that we're down here, this leads right to the bonfire. And I, if I'm not mistaken, the gate here can only be opened from this side. So, now that I opened up that shortcut, it's going to make our trek down here a lot easier and a lot faster. Oop. And then right through here, sewer chamber key leads right to the bonfire. And before I do that, I want to show you these slime guys and tell you a little bit about them. Uh, the slime in this area drop green titanite and large titanite. So I'm going to use these guys to farm, and I'm going to do that off camera. I just wanted to show you... Uh, they, they'll drop on top of me if I don't run, so i got to run to the other side real quick. They're super weak to pyromancies, uh, so I am going to go get my pyromancy glove and stuff and do that in order to farm these guys, because as you can see, I'm only dealing 25 damage per hit on just one of them. And that's... But if you have pyromancies with you, you can fly through this area really quick. So, if you ever need some large titanite and some green titanite, that's a good way to farm it. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this... cut things off here. Rest up real quick. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, do what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that other fun jazz. And I'll be seeing you guys in the future. Bye bye